Today is October 29th, and we are getting ready to head into the season of consumption. And I'm not saying that in a judgy way. I'm being completely honest with you about how I experience this time of year. It's the time of year when it's really, really hard to say no to all of the you know, the shiny objects in the stores. I have absolutely have shiny object syndrome this time of year. I want all of the holiday decorations. I want to make things cozy. I want to make things bright and beautiful and fun and playful. And so often that means buying things and buying some things is fine, but I'm retired and I don't want to go back to work. And so I'm really trying to limit my spending. The last five years have been really hard to get through this season without feeling like I'm really missing out, like, uh, you know, like I'm missing something because I'm not buying all the things. And I'm wondering, how do you get through this season without breaking the bank? I know it's really hard for people even just to put food on the table. And so when you add in all of the extras and all of the temptations and all of the wonderful things If you have enough money to just go ahead and do that, that's fantastic, fantastic, good on you. But most people have some restrictions, some limitations, and some of them are, you know, just reality and some of them are self-imposed. I fall into the self-imposed category because I could have a lot of things. I could buy all the things I want to, but it would probably mean I had to go back to work and I'm not willing to do that right now. I worked hard to get where I am to not have to have a nine to five and live my life that way anymore. And so I'm willing to forego a lot of things to keep my lifestyle. But how do you do that? What are, what are the thought processes that you use to get through this time of year? It's only going to get worse. It's October heading into November and December. And there we go. So what are you doing?